I think the idea of, of humanism, the idea that humans have a kind of unique dignity, that um, have a kind of special status, ultimately I think it goes back to Genesis. I think it goes back to that narrative that God creates man and woman in his own image. And that is something that then passes through into the bloodstream of European culture. And we, to this day, continue to take for granted. And so the emphasis on the kind of the idea of the human, the idea of, 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 the, 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 uh, of human rights and the values and the dignity mm -hmm. of humanity, I think that this is a, a, a deeply Western and therefore a deeply Christian idea. And as kind of, I just want to read a list mm. of, um, of where um, uh, international human um, uh, conferences have been held over the year. We have okay. Miami, we have Oxford, we have London, we have Oslo, we have Washington, we have Paris, we have Nord Wijkkerhout in the Netherlands, then we have Mumbai, then we have Mexico City, then we have Amsterdam, then we have Brussels, then we have Buffalo in the USA, we have Oslo, we have Hanover, we have London, we have Amsterdam, we have Boston, we have Paris, we have Oslo, we have London, we have Amsterdam. Mumbai aside, all of those are in countries that are deeply, you know, are predominantly Christian. In turn, most of those are Protestant. I think that in its essentials, humanism is a kind of a very soft Protestantism. It's, 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 it's a godless Protestantism. Mm -hmm. And it is, in that sense, as culturally contingent as everything else in the vast range and span of human civilization. And I don't ultimately see what the problem is with acknowledging this. Right. I mean, if you don't believe in a God, it, 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 it no more matters that, that, that you as an atheist might be informed by Christian opinions than that you as a human being are, are an ape. I mean, it's, it, are, are it, you it, saying it doesn't that, seem to me a problem. humanism is divorced from, from the Judeo-Christian ethic? Or yes, I, I am, because I mean, it, uh, if I were able to, to identify um, uh, you know, focal humanistic traditions in non-Christian societies, then you might believe that humanism is something that could quite easily come out of uh, reflection and, and consideration. Um, so uh, it happened in classical antiquity in Greece. It happened in the in the thinking of, of uh, Aristotle and the post-Aristotelian schools. Do you believe that it happened? In China, two mm -hmm. centuries before Christ, Mozart, the founder of the Moist movement, taught love your brother, L love your neighbor as yourself. This idea, it's a very, very, very fundamental humanist principle, that one. The Jains and the Buddhists in India, centuries before Christ, were teaching the same thing. Not only compassion and all-embracing compassion, but not just for other human beings, for all life, for animal life. I mean, something more tender in its outlook even than the Christian view. The, the, these are uh, uh, recognizably and focally humanistic impulses that we're recognizing in these different traditions. They don't owe anything to any one particular tradition. They come out of the uh, out of this sense that we have as human beings of being connected to one another. There's a marvelous remark in, in, uh, um, in one of Hazlitt's essays where he and Coleridge went for a walk on the north Somerset coast and they came to a village where the day before there had been a terrible storm and a boy had been swept out to sea and the fishermen in the village had risked their lives to try to save him. And Coleridge asked them, well, why did you do that? Why did you risk your lives uh, to do that? And the uh, fisherman said, it's because we have a nature towards one another. And that encapsulates something human that doesn't require myth. It doesn't require myth in the case of the Jains and the Buddhists and the Moists. It just requires a sense of our common shared humanity. But the idea that humans have rights, that they have a peculiar dignity, is a myth. And it seems to me so evident that this myth is, is Christian in its origins. The idea that... Um, you know, you, by cherry picking fragments from other cultural traditions, you can demonstrate that the beliefs that you hold as someone living in London in 2019, you and all your fellow humanists, all of whom, with the single exception of, of, of one city, have all been held in basically Christian countries. You, I mean, this is, you, you, humanism is so derivative of Christianity. And yet, because like Christianity, it wants to claim a universal mission, just as 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 Christians claimed as evidence for this that you know Greek philosophy was part of its inheritance, 
So likewise, you are engaged in this mass exercise of cultural appropriation, picking stuff to demonstrate that the entirely <laughs> contingent <laughs> views that you personally have, and that I have too, are somehow not bred of um, the, the culture in which we've emerged, 